In this video, let's talk about how to recreate some deeds using meets and bounds descriptions from inside the deed in Civil 3D. There are multiple ways to draw lines at a given bearing a distance. The easiest way and the most basic is up here on the home tab in the line commands. Under this pull down, you can draw lines by a bearing. And if you begin your line, you then have to choose a quadrant. So this is your northeast, northwest, southwest, southeast call and then you put in your angles so i'll put 45 degrees i hit enter and a distance of a thousand feet so now i now have that and you saw that i could continue rocking and rolling with that command and that's one way to do it as you're going through deeds but when you have a deed and this is a relatively simple one it's only got five calls in it but this one has both lines and it has arcs in it it can be complicated and to keep up with it and if you do it the way I just did, there's no readily available way to look at all of your calls at one time. So if you typoed anything, you can't go back and fix it easily and stuff like that. What I prefer to use is a traverse header. So under home, ground data, and traverse, you can open the traverse header. And what this will allow us to do is put in all these calls in a tabular format. So that whenever I make a mistake, which inevitably will put in a typo, you will be able to come in here and edit it and it will link everything together. The Traverse Editor, once you open it, you need to make sure that you have chose whether you want to make points and lines. It will create points at each one of these endpoints as we go. And I'm going to do points and lines just so you can see it. You can choose just lines or just points. And over here, you can tell it whether you're doing lines and arcs or just lines. Here under the settings, you can adjust uh, whether you're doing degrees, minutes, seconds, or decimals, and all of the settings on creating your points and so forth. I'm going to leave it on DMS. I'm doing lines and arcs and points and lines. The first thing you have to do is create or tell it where to start your point of beginning is, or point of commencement, where you're going to start your traverse. How about that? If you had a point in this drawing that represented a bit, uh, property corner, maybe it was collected in a survey, or if you had a specific coordinate, you could type that in, or you can type in the point number and it will snap to it. You can also use this pick box and just choose anywhere in space. So for what we're doing, I chose anywhere in space and it made a point number and right there. So my first call in my deed is a line, and I'm gonna pull this to the other screen so that I can roll through it for the demo, but I just wanted you to see it, what it is, and I've highlighted the individual calls. It's a pretty easy one. Let's pull this up here out of the way real fast and come back down to CAD. So our first call is south and zero degrees, and then you hit space for your minutes and seconds. So zero minutes, 12 seconds east, a distance of 1288.21. And when I go to the next line, you will see that it drew that line and it automatically created my, that point. So I went southeast so that this was this point, the next point. And it's, you can just continue tabularly through it. So my next call is a curve. So I'm going to change this line to chord arc because what I'm wanting is a chord arc. And I have a radius of 14963.4 and a chord bearing of north 61 degrees oops, 64 degrees 10 minutes 35 seconds west and a chord distance of 1287.86 i'll go to my next line and then you can just continue your way through your calls so my next call is a line and it is north 61, 45, 10, west 1078.13. And you can see that it's just going through here and adding them as you go. It's all tied together. And it's much easier to see what you're doing, in my opinion, than it was the other way. So north, because when you're doing these, you can often get lost on where you're at. And when you've got it in this table, it's easy for you to keep up with the last call that you did. Let 
north 87. 0104 east distance of 2183.66. And that's it. <clears throat> now, if I zoom in, I can see that it does close, which is awesome. It's pretty dang close to closing anyway. Some very small amount from not closing. So because I have the points, I mean, it's so small. 0.01 off. So his closure error is really good. And I can see it. Now, if I wanted to come in here and say I typoed a call, I can pretty quickly, so 61.45.10, and then say that was supposed to be 46. When I hit the enter, it updates it, and redraws it, and everything that's after it is tied. Problem with drawing it the other way is that each point is a dumb polyline. So if I edited it, it would edit the next bearing as well, and it would stretch it and, and all of that good stuff. So it updated both the point and the line. So if I change this back to 45, hit enter, you'll see it update, and it updated the point. So a real easy way to do that. Now, once you have a traverse, if you want to, for bookkeeping purposes, you can save this to anywhere that you want to. So I'll put it on my desktop. I'm just going to call it parcel. Hit save. So now if I went to a different drawing and wanted to recreate this, or if I needed some way to recreate it in the future, I'd have it. If I change, let's say I did this out in space, getting ready for the survey guys to shoot everything. They shot it, and now they've actually found me a good point of beginning, and I want it over here. I click it and it moves it just that quick and it's all tied together. Once it is saved, I can actually analyze this to get my enclosure errors and my corrections. So once it's saved, I can come up here to Traverse and I can go to Traverse Adjustment. Open this dialog box, I'll maximize it. Hit Select, then I can select that file that I've just saved out and it loads in all of our lines gives us our transit errors and our closure errors and all of that good stuff for us to be able to analyze it and see if we need to do any calculus. So we're 0 0.0016 closure error. So pretty dang good. But if you needed to do um, adjustments to your bearings and lines for a uh, purpose of a traverse or a purpose of closure, this is how you could get your anal analysis. You can generate a report and um, Click that and you can save it out and it saves it as an HTML file, HTML file that you can then open, save your project, and copy into Word for if you're having to give it to you and your municipalities. And that's a quick down and dirty on how to do traverses. Um, if I close this before I forget, so I saved it. When I close it, you'll see that um, those calls disappear, but my line work remained, and this is a polyline. So you can do that and then come over and do your next deed, your next deed, next deed for whatever you're doing. If you found this content helpful, please click like. Feel free to subscribe.